Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan or Darwin Design here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over how to do some simple player shadows and uh, just some simple lighting in Photoshop. So this is basically it in the design. You can see the shadows at his feet. Um, now this is it pulled from the design without color correction or anything like that. And then this is just the base image, which is what we're going to be uh, using. So I just have uh, the regular image with a basic or a simple skin and uh, some, some uh, selective color on it. To bring out the blues a little bit more but so we have this here and then just a regular white background and all right so let's go ahead and get started so my base is three different layers one for the right foot one for the left foot and then one i just named base which is uh, basically just the body and so we'll get a shadow group drag it beneath the mask all right now you want to go to general brushes and select soft round it's going to be just a regular circle brush on hardness zero percent Set your opacity to 100 and press D to get your default black and white brushes. And then go to your brush settings. You want to get your roundness down. Now this depends on how the how like open the foot is. So we'll say that the right foot, let's start with the right foot. Since it's almost touching the ground, we want like a thinner one, or like a lower percentage. And so then we'll just zoom in and get it right beneath. Try and line up the center of it. That's straight. All right, I like that. Left foot, since it's off uh, the ground a little bit wider, like that. Yep, that's cool. And then we'll lower the opacity a little bit since it's off the ground. To about there. All right, that's straight. And then for the base, I like to put like a two or three percent to account for his body, and then stretch it vertically a little bit, and put it in between. The left and right foot and then this one you want to lower the, the lower the fill like a good amount like 30 ish maybe uh shrink it a little bit vertically all right that's cool all right and then one more thing um i like to sometimes make a silhouette shadow so just copy the mask layer uh fill it with black and then drag it to the bottom bring the perspective up so it's on like an evil or sorry an even playing field and then go to blur, Gaussian blur, and put it around two ish, 2.2. 2. Yeah, that's cool. All right, name it silhouette. Make sure it's below the mask layer. Put it in here. Um, so we'll make a layer mask on this one. Press Control I to uh, invert it, and then we're gonna up the roundness a little bit, and we just kind of paint it on. All right, sorry about that, but um. Yeah, so you want to round it or up the roundness a little bit, like 9%. That's cool. Now you just want to paint it on. Um, so I'll get like a, I guess, I don't know, 45% opacity. Just play with it. You want it to be the strongest uh, beneath the foot. And then I'll lighten up the opacity to like 10 and just kind of paint it. And continue to lower the opacity. And that is kind of cool. You just want to play with it. I mean, this is all going to vary for each image. I kind of like the look, like the look of that, and then lower the the fill. Yeah, that's cool. All right, and then um, I'm gonna add two curved layers and just two regular groups, or sorry, regular uh, empty layers. Make one black and one white. I like to name everything, keep it all organized, so I know what I'm doing. Make one light uh, curve and then one dark. And then just kind of drag it down to here-ish. It won't really matter because you can you can uh, make it vary based on opacity. So so you want to get back your regular circular brush. Uh, I'm going to invert this and just kind of paint over it again. Now you want the darker part to be towards the bottom of your feet. So like the shadow would be portrayed here since it's at the bottom. Um, beneath the feet, you want the bottom of the foot basically to, to be darker. And then... You're just going to follow the image, basically just highlight or darken what the image gives you. All right, so there's there's uh, that same process for here. Just highlight the lights um, with the curves and um, same, the same thing here. Now, this one, I like to go very low opacity, like 10% ish because it's much more apparent than the curves. That's uh, straight, and then I'll go up to 5%. Gas. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. And now with white, it's very overpowering. So 
I'll just leave it at five percent throughout. Same thing, man. Just highlighting it. It's very simple, but um, it can be tedious at times for sure. So we'll lower these two layers to 77%. You can see that there's a clear difference in that. So one more thing you can do here is make a camera raw filter group. Clip it just to make it pop a little bit more. Um, I'll up the exposure a little bit. I like the contrast, how it brings up the colors. And I mean, as I said, each image is different. And so you just want to play with it. This is just my like basic process. I do it on literally everything I, I create. So yeah, I just want to share it with you guys because I see a lot of good designs room by bad shadows. I'll tell you that right now. Um, yeah, so I actually like how that looks a lot. Uh, so I'll lessen that and there you go. So this is what we started with. That's what we ended with. So there's some simple shadows in Photoshop. <laughs> all right, uh, that's pretty much all I got, man. Um, I hope you guys learned something new from this hope this helps just play with it and you know tweak it to your liking it's going to be different for each image this is just my practice or this is this is what i do um in all my designs so yeah so i appreciate you guys for watching uh, make sure to like comment subscribe all that i'll have my socials in the description or you can comment if you have any questions or you can dm me uh, pick your poison um yeah so that's pretty much all i got i'm sorry this video took me so long to make but yeah that's pretty much all i got for the third time now. I'll see you guys later. Doses.